Hey everybody, what's going on? Vic Shoman here. And as you guys already know, this video is on the Imperial Decree. So I actually already recorded this video, but uh, my Elgato is being stupid and the footage got messed up somehow. So here I am again, recording for the second time, but it's all good. So, I actually, the other day, decided to do a Menagerie run, and I literally did like one run that day, and, and I ended up getting two God-rolled Imperial Decrees, one for PvE, and one for PvP. And I also got this pretty nice Epicurean right here, but this isn't about that. Um, so the rolls I got on these weapons, my PvE roll, and they're both Masterwork for range as well, on this one, I have small bore and smooth bore, and honestly, the barrel doesn't really matter that much to me, you know, for PvE, because it's PvE, you'll be right up in their face all the time anyway. And then I also got a pendant mag and assault mag, along with threat detector and trench barrel. From what I know, I think that trench barrel is actually better on the high impact frames than the rapid fire frames. That's just, you know, from what I've heard from watching other videos and stuff. And that mix with threat detector is just, they coincide so perfectly and it's just so useful. And honestly, assault mag might be my favorite perk in this column to get on the aggressive frame shotguns because they fire so slow that that increase of stability and fight rate of fire really helps it out. And in terms of like DPS, I'm not sure what would be, what would be the best, Assault Mag or Appended Mag. This actually brings the mag up to 5, which is really nice, but Assault Mag does increase the rate of fire. So I normally lean towards Assault Mag, but in terms of effectiveness, which one is actually better, I guess I'm not really sure. It, if you guys have the same role, it, it, I mean, it's up to you. Honestly, both would probably be great. And then on my other role, my PvP role... I have got, oh my gosh, I love this one so much. I would say it's perfect. I don't know about you guys, but I really like it. Maybe, I think, Accurize could roll on these. I, I Honestly, if there's one perk I'd maybe want on this that's not Assault Mag, it would be Accurize rounds. But other than that, I absolutely a, a love Assault Mag on this thing. It's got range. Then I got Full Choke. Full Choke and rifle barrel honestly you could go either or this is smooth bore but i didn't get rifle barrel i personally always preferred full choke because this was the best roll before it got before it got nerfed but in my opinion i still feel like it's still on par with rifle barrel in my opinion i like it more but either or would work and then i also got assault mag which increases its rate of fire which helps out tremendous tr tremendously in pvp along with slide shot and rampage absolutely love this combination on any shotgun and i think the thing just looks gorgeous oh my gosh reminds me of destiny one shotguns and then it's got masterwork for range so this video is going to be a little bit different i'm going to be going to titan and i'm just going to kind of show me kind of be showing you guys the numbers on greg the ogre and then, um, then I will be heading into the Crucible to show you guys some gameplay of the PvP roll. Alright, well now that I've cleared out some of the adds, let's go see what the base damage is for this weapon. Alright, so it's looking to do, alright, I think that was 4,864 maybe? 4,800 and something. And now let's check it out with Trench Barrel here. It's doing 7,295, so that's a pretty good bump in damage. And obviously, you know, with Threat Detector and Trench Barrel really increasing that reload speed, it's really helping out. Look at that, after two shots, and only one of them was the Threat Detector shot, we already got down a third of his health. So, let's see. There you guys have it. It's doing some pretty good numbers, honestly. Uh, it's what I expected. It... it if you look at the results, it honestly did not take that many shots to kill that ogre. And the DPS poten potential on this shotgun is honestly insane. And like I said, I think it actually is more effective than the rapid fire frame shotguns. So if you do get a roll with trench barrel or threat detector, or it might even be able to roll with one two punch, honestly, try keeping it. Try giving it a shot for DPS. I, I absolutely love this shotgun. I've been having a blast with it. I think it's a ton of fun. And to be honest, I cannot wait to go into strikes and just, like, DPS the crap out of bosses. I think it'll be so much fun. So, I, and I know I'm not really, like, crunching, like, the numbers or showing you guys the, like, specific results or anything. Uh, th I'm, this just to give you guys a rough idea of how much this, you know, this gun can do and the damage potential that it has. If you do want some more, like, specific numbers and results, then I'd recommend checking out, I think, Fallout and Astacross should have more detailed videos on this shotgun. 
And um, yeah, so there you guys have it. A really good DPS option in PvE and would highly recommend it. So um, let's head into PvP. All right, Radiant Cliffs. All right, I, you know, I can work with this. I can work with this. I wonder how many times I've said all right in this video. But um, relatively, there are some close quarter spots in this map, so I should be able to <laughs> summon my inner shotgun warrior and just shotgun the entire game. I absolutely love this shotgun so much. I'm more of an impact. I'm uh, more of a fan of the. Uh, well, I like the the adaptive frame ones like Dusk Rock Blues and the aggressive frame ones. I, I I really like. And this one is no different. This feels amazing. It's probably gonna end up being my go-to shotgun for PvP, honestly. It show oh, it one shots. It just such good ranges. <laughs> Alright, let's see if we can sneak around these guys here. There are some longer range engagements, so let's see if we can... Whoa. Di I swear... It even... What? You guys heard that, right? I swear it fired my shot. That was bizarre, but okay. I'll take it. All right, there we go, there we go, not bad. And, all right, there we go. That that makes me feel a little bit better. That was a pretty good play. I don't know how I killed the third guy, because I was, okay, we're still going. We're, we are still going. Um. Oh, no, what? What do you mean, what? The, what? I swear I thought I killed that guy. No, no, no. Alright, I'm gonna protect this. Just because I don't want somebody else to take it. Um Alright. I'm always afraid of pushing this like wide open section right here. Oh my gosh. I gotta be super careful and meticulous about all my pushes. Oh no. Alright, we almost got him there. And now he's got heavy. I did not think that one through. This is a bad person. I'm just gonna push him. With you know, just no regrets, honestly. Like there we go. I am just mindlessly running after everyone, but it works. That was some crazy lag right there. I'm sorry, what? I'm sorry, what? What's going on right now? Where are people? I'm trying to find people. I think there's some people in the back over here. Don't kill them all. I want some of them, please don't! Oh my gosh, dude, they're all in the back of the map. Oh, that would have been so nice. But there's too many of them. I mean, I don't have enough time. No. I don't have enough time! Please don't! Oh, 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 oh no! <laughs> that was terrifying! I should probably be more of a team player and get more of the zones. But! Oh my gosh, dude, this thing, like, the range stat doesn't even look crazy on this thing when you look at it on paper, but it just maps people. Absolutely maps them, and I freaking love it. Dude, like, it's so wide open right here, I feel like I am gonna just get screwed over if I just attempt to push anyone. Oh no, oh no. <gasps> what?! Out of all weapons, man, it's gotta be a grenade launcher. Although, edge transit, respect, that's a pretty good weapon. It was once a meme, but it's still pretty good. Oh, don't run away from me. <gasps> oh, I'm disappointed. <laughs> wow, well that was... Oh my gosh, that's a bad guy. <laughs> what? I love it how I just stopped paying attention to literally everything going on around me. Isn't it just great? <gasps> no, no. <laughs> oh my gosh, that was... What? I was about to push in there. I had no clue, man. <laughs> That was low-key terrifying. Alright, where are these people at? They're all back here. Let's see. This super short stops so often. I don't even know. Alright, so this guy's up here. Where'd he go? <laughs> 
All right, we're good. Let's keep this ball rolling. We're good. We're good. No, I couldn't fire. Dude, that's the second time. A shot. It literally made the sound of a shot going off. And it did nothing. It, like, didn't even come out. I don't know. All right, we took the lead, though, so that's good. Thank you for the special, man. Honestly appreciated. I will take it. You know, let's do it. Let's take him on. Let's take him on. Let's go. Yes. <laughs> let's keep this snowball rolling. I couldn't think of a metaphor to use. Oh, oh, oh. Did it run out? We got him, though. So it's all good. We got him. We did it. Whoa, they got a massive lead in like the past 10 seconds. They got like a 10 point lead. I don't know how, but... Let's just keep going. We're going to keep on trying. We're going to keep on doing our thing and see how this goes. Oh, that's not good. Get over here. That is not... We can't let you live after that. That was a bad guy. I, I, I swear, I keep on like running past people and I'm thinking they're my teammates and then they're not. And I'm like, oh, but it's fine. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. That mapped him. He was so far away and it just mapped him. All right. Well, that might be about all we're going to get here. I think I got, I got some decent kills for you guys, I think. I absolutely love this shotgun. It's super consistent, honestly. At least, you know, as a whole, it's pretty freaking consistent. I absolutely love this gun. And Assault Mag just comes in so clutch with increasing that rate of fire. Here I am talking about how consistent it is, and I left him with a smidge of health. I can't see the things in my way. All right, we're good. Not bad. You know, that was not bad. I will take it. That was all right. You know, whether I prefer that gameplay or my, uh, you know, the gameplay that's gone now because Elgato's stupid, it's fine. That was pretty good. Somehow we managed to get a 32 offensive, but I'll take it. All right. Not bad. We, we summoned our inner shotgun warrior and we got through that match. But anyway... The Imperial Decree. Oh my gosh. I love this shotgun. I, I, honestly, I feel like it's a jack of all trades. You can, it, it can be great in PvP. It can be great in PvE. It's just so good. So if you guys ever get a good roll on this shotgun, by all means, please keep it. If you get a roll that you think you might like to use in PvP, please hold on to it. Or PvE. It, it's an amazing shotgun, and honestly, I, I absolutely love it. It's probably going to be my go-to shotgun for PvP now, and I'm probably going to use it pretty often in PvE as well. The DPS potential on this thing is crazy good, especially, like, for shotguns. And for PvP, this thing can map. It honestly can map like crazy. And it really surprised me. It honestly did. It really surprised me, and I absolutely love this shotgun. So just remember, oh, yeah, I forgot to mention this earlier, but July 8th, Try to get your god rolled weapons from the Menagerie before July 8th because they are going to patch that shotgun, I guess you say, quote unquote glitch July 8th. So, any weapons that you're trying to get a god roll of or that you want, just try to make sure you get them before July 8th. So, there you guys have the Imperial Decree. I absolutely love this shotgun and I can't wait to continue using it. But anyway, I hope you guys have an amazing day and remember to stay as positive as possible. And I will see you guys in the next video.